Hi there, lunatics. Welcome to another monthly release. Um, it's the Worm Moon, March the 7th today. And, well, it isn't March the 7th today because I'm pre-recording this, but it will be by the time you see it. Uh, this is Playing for Time. Far, far away Out amongst the stars There's a planet spinning slowly we call it ours Any time Any day Any moment that we bring to life Will never fade away It's a song that I've been working on for a long time um, and I've performed without lyrics, unfinished so some of you may be familiar with it. It's been an important one for me and I think it's a personal lyric. You know, it's partly about time, memories, getting older, and uh, also, you know, whether we're prisoners of time or whether that's something that actually can free us. If you've ever seen someone whose memory has been lost through a car accident or something, they often feel quite lost. I think it is our history, our sense of place in time as well as geographical place uh, is part of what gives us meaning. So um, somehow, and I, I do think it's good in life to, to push yourself towards more bold or interesting experiences because then you'll have richer memories to feed you when you get to my antiquated years. Um, and I think it also, you know, you get taught by every experience, particularly every sort of meaningful experience that you go through. So, uh, so this was about assembling and organizing and ordering memories it's been through many incarnations and uh, I'd actually written this thing about a planet full of memories that this idea that a couple have this place out there that is recording everything they do and uh, you can dip back into it somehow I'd seen the work of Annette Messager uh, who's a wonderful artist many many years ago um, and nearly got her involved in the Art From Us project or nearly approached her on that, but uh, didn't. But this time I thought um, with this coincidence of this planet of memories, uh, she'd be the right person to ask uh, to do something for this song. She's, I think, been a real pioneering sculptor. If you look at the breadth of her work, you'll find, I think, influence on a lot of younger artists working today. It's great that she wanted to get involved with this. This thinking about time also um, fed in or was fed by uh, Danny Hillis's work, who's this uh, great friend, but he's a brilliant, uh, innovative computer scientist of his many uh, extraordinary inventions. The 10,000 year clock is one of those. And it's an idea to, in, to try and encourage us to think long term. And that's um, with people like Stuart Brand and Peter Schwartz. They've sort of evolved this thing into the Long Now Foundation. Uh, and they've taken on, to which yeah, Brian Eno is also uh, working on. But they've um, had lots of ideas that are, I think, long-term thinking. Uh, and one thought was to try and preserve all the languages that are being eradicated uh, you know because we think of extinction with with animals and plants but but our human languages are also disappearing so they're trying to record those and uh, I'm sure that if we have a chance of surviving the sort of existential problems that we now face uh, we have to start thinking much bigger and longer um, to make some real headway. 
So I think what they do is enormously valuable and there's some amazing talks there. So uh, for those that want a, a deep dive into time and long-term thinking, the Long Now Foundation is a wonderful place to start. We tried a few versions of this song and um, some work better than others. And if you want to take the deep dive, you can hear some of these. But um, and the band are always very patient with me with these different interpretations. Um, and even though I performed and played piano live quite a lot, I felt that this is something that I could get in a, a real piano player for. And Tom Corley, who's you know, a brilliant musician, and played with me on the uh, New Blood tour. John Metcalf introduced me. Um, I thought we could get him down. And at first, first he came down and played with the band, but um, I thought there was still some things that could be done a little differently, uh, like the intro. And he was kind enough to come down again to my house in London, where I have a beautiful piano, and did a wonderful recording. And then we did the um, the string section at the British Grove Studios, and, uh, and it made me very happy to see a lot of the um, same faces from the New Blood Orchestra. Um, so uh, that was lovely, and I hope to be able to credit all of them because often, you know, orchestras are moving body of people. They do change quite regularly, and, uh, and <coughs> oops. <laughs> um, they do, ch yeah, change quite regularly with the orchestras. So um, that's my dog, Rafa, uh, making a comment in the background. Um, so uh, but lovely to have uh, some of the same team working on this particular song. And uh, I think it's one of the most emotional songs on the record. Some wonderful performances yeah, fr from the band, um, Tony again doing some beautiful things, and uh, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, Rafa. <laughs> Tony has a fan down there. On the album, generally, you'll find uh, the brilliant work of John Metcalf, who is my normal sort of go to arranger, and uh, he's done some fantastic stuff. But on this track, and it was partly this sort of chromatic scale and slightly retro feel that I wanted, I thought back to um, That'll Do, the Randy Newman song that I sang, uh, and Ed Shearmer had done a beautiful arrangement on that, and I thought maybe that sort of thing would really suit this song very well. And um, so we managed to track Ed down again, and uh, when I first heard the demos, um, yeah, it brought a tear to the eye because I just felt so much emotion in it, particularly at the end. And so, you know, that's definitely what I w want to try and do with this song is give that, give people an, an emotional journey. So that you know, it means a lot to me and I hope it does to you too. They're all too busy playing for time. Everybody's playing for time You and I are still playing for time